Unfortunately, a lot of AMC apes, retail investors, are not seeing the big picture of what happened. Okay, and I'm trying to make you all understand it, but a lot of people, they just, they don't want to hear it. But you have to hear it because it's extremely important. Okay, and it's really detrimental to the future of all of us. See, what people like Ken Griffin understand is that you take a whole bunch of people, you give them convenience like Robin Hood, Weeble. And the thing is that now, even though each retail investor may not be putting a lot of money into these platforms because you're not required to. I mean, you could even put a dollar and start trading. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you have millions and millions and millions of retail investors, it becomes big. Okay, the pot thickens. It becomes big. Like I said, you look at what happened in 2022. Retail lost $350 billion. Now, don't think this is not well thought out. This is not planned out. Of course it is. You know, I mean, I'll say it's alleged, but you, you, you have common sense, right? Okay. And the thing is, I'm trying to make you think the same way, but in a different industry. In other words, this industry is rigged, in my opinion, okay, the stock market. Why not have that same approach, that same exact thing that we're doing? Millions and millions and millions of retail investors, but instead of putting your money in this rigged stock market controlled by freaking Ken Griffin, okay, why not consider the casino industry? Why not consider real estate? Why not consider something that's not corrupt, that's not rigged, <laughs> you know what I mean? Where there is no more freaking corruption. I don't know. Call me uh, old-fashioned. Call me a psychopath. But to me, that makes a lot of sense. Because again, I'm just going to say for entertainment purposes only, that same $350 billion, if it was invested in casinos, you're talking about instead of it being squandered, which it was, and it was turned to zero, it could have been an empire. It could have been a dynasty. We could have casinos all over the world. Macau. Dubai, Vegas, everywhere. You could have 100 plus top, top of the line casinos earning $100 billion a year. And instead, what did we do? We gave our money to that Mama Luke. We gave our money to all these hedge runs and short sellers. And you know what's sad is that everybody's doing the same shit. They're not waking up from this friggin' nightmare. They're doing the same shit. They're going right back into their Robin Hood accounts right back into their Webull accounts and handing money over to these pieces of garbage by the efforts. So look, I'm going to be doing a live stream very soon. Uh, come to my live stream and let's talk about the V for Victory project. I'll explain to you how it all works. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.